Hi guys, welcome back to Ashley Pete Travel. Today we are at Historical Valley Forge in Pennsylvania. Uh, where in the 1700s, America won its freedom or somewhere around there. It was a, a battle during the winter and we ended up winning, I believe sometime in the summer, which was July 4th, but this was a pivotal turning point. Uh, so we're gonna go in, check out some of the log cabins, check out the vis visitor center, Welcome old friends, hello new friends, let's go on an adventure together. So while they were here, they faced a lot of supply chain issues. Uh, they didn't have any food, um, really harsh conditions, cold winters, and a lot of them actually died just from diseases. So uh, they had to try to find a way to combat that and also combat the British Army. And it actually was not just soldiers that were here. There was actually women and children helping out on the fronts. Many of the soldiers were not really fit to be soldiers. Um, so General Steuben from Germany came in and kind of whipped them into shape and they actually became a pretty successful fighting force and eventually got rid of the British. And that's why America is a free country today. All right, although the visitor center is a lot of fun, the most information and the coolest things you're gonna see at Valley Forge is actually driving around. The first thing we've come up to are some log cabins. They're reproductions, obviously they're not original from the 1700s, but it gives us a close look into what life might have been like during the 1700s. <laughs> they used to actually have beds in them, now they have information. We've lost one. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been my favorite thing about coming to Valley Forge is that you can go into each of the cabins. Okay. Six people can fit so on that side. On side. So Twelve. Yeah. Twelve people, maybe 15 to 20 in each little cabin. I actually used to live maybe four miles from here. So I'd come here all the time. Oh, this was uh, this is an officer's. This is how I remember him as a kid. They used to just look like this. It was always nice coming here as a teenager, just driving around. It's just a very pretty place with cannons. Which just brings us to the arch. The arch was built around 1917 as a proclamation of freedom and all that stuff. <laughs> there is Peter. <laughs> So now we're going to go somewhere super special to both Peter and I. It's where we got married 10 years ago. Uh, it is the Washington Memorial Chapel, by far my favorite place in Valley Forge Park. And also another fun little side note, I learned to ride a bicycle here when I was six. <laughs> and this is the chapel in 2013 where Peter and I were married. This is the inside. You remember getting married here? Yeah. <laughs> Does this? And this right out here is where we took our wedding photos. <laughs> So they have a beautiful little area in here. It kind of gives me a little bit of Hogwarts vibes. And my favorite spot is that they actually have a little princess turret. I don't know what it's actually called, but that's what I called it. And so all of our wedding photos 
We're taking in this general area out on the grass in front. And we had just a beautiful view for our wedding. Look at this. This is where we came out. And as we came out, they had bells ringing. Just a really, really perfect day when we got married. Now the following day after we got married, it snowed like a foot of snow and it wasn't even anticipated. We were driving on the road um, and we made it to an Eagles game somehow, but it was just, it was a crazy day. But just a lot of memories here at Washington Memorial Chapel. Peter just said this was the most patriotic place that we could have gotten married. Uh, there are 13 windows inside, all re representing a different colony and a different founding father. And the whole church is actually dedicated to a memorial for George Washington. And there he is. These are things I never noticed before. Yeah, the ceiling in here has always been one of my favorites. So cool. Uh, so like I said, we got married 10 years ago. 2013 it's now 2023 and it's just really neat to come back especially that we live in florida now it's so fun coming in just looking at all the things and just having a whole bunch of memories well guys thanks for watching we're actually leaving valley forge park right now like and subscribe and i'll always come back for more